SoFi update here on the 14th. So let's just go over the long-term chart one more time. If you haven't watched my videos in the past, we have this move right here from December 2022 to, to July of 2023. That is either wave one or wave A. We're not sure what that is yet, but that was completed on July 31st. And then we started this corrective phase, which um, is pretty standard. Usually, if it's a second wave, I'd be looking for a retrace to the 0.5 fib. And we've already done that. It's already been completed right here. Um, could potentially come lower to six bucks, but that's going to need a market correction. And it doesn't look like the market's going to correct anytime soon now. They're just holding it up. So I think there's a very good chance that this might have been the overall bottom right here at 640. Um, I do have it marked right here as the A wave ending right here, B wave right here. Uh, but it's very possible that this was actually the bottom of the second wave right here. And we've already started wave one. We're making wave two. And this would be third wave coming up here in the next couple of weeks. So that's very possible. Or it's also possible that you could look at it like this. Uh, if you're looking at it like this, then everything is an ABC move. So A, B, C, A, B, C, and this would be A, B, and C. So I don't care which way it is, it doesn't really matter um, because we are going to be completing here in this monthly demand area. And we do have some gaps down below, but I think it's very unlikely we're going to go down to six bucks now. Um, I thought it was possible if we got a market-wide correction, but that didn't happen. So yeah, we're pretty much in the final stages of this move. Again, this took five months. And in previous videos, I was saying two and a half months for the C wave. Here we are, mid-March, and we are in the final stages. Where are we at, though, on smaller time frames? We have this move down, which I consider an A wave, B wave. And then right here, one, two, three, four, and then the fifth wave. This is the area that I was saying potentially could break out. It needed to get to eight bucks. It didn't get to eight bucks. And it didn't really make a five wave move anyway. And then we, so it was basically a bear flag. And then we started selling off again. And so here we are now on this final five wave move down. And I think that it ended right here. And I think currently, I think they might delay this till next week. There might be another downtrend next week. This kind of looks like an expanded flat to me. So a potentially we get a bounce tomorrow. Um, maybe back up here to like 718, 720. Um, it's possible it keeps on coming down too and they finish it tomorrow. But this is one possibility. And then after that, you don't know. They might do something like this. Could end up being a move all the way down to 650. So they're just trying to uh, annoy and tire out longs. But really, the problem is they never let the stock really rise. So nobody's going to be selling. So their only play is to annoy and frustrate you. But you can just sell covered calls and buy puts and make money while they're doing this. So it's not that big of a deal. So again, we're pretty much in the late stages. Um, this is a great place to accumulate, especially in here in the monthly demand. This is where all the institutions are gonna be accumulating if they haven't already. And after this move is complete, again, we're looking at a move. Let's say this is the first wave right here. We're looking at a move all the way up here to 14 bucks for the next move. So, Potentially, if this holds 640, we could be at, you know, 18 to 20 bucks by uh, the summertime. Uh, it might take a little bit longer than that, but I, maybe the summertime. But if that's if this is a uh, first wave right here, which is a very good possibility, or if this is just a second wave coming to completion right here then we would start a third wave after that 
And that would actually be higher prices because then you're measuring the third wave from the top right here. And I'd be looking at 21.80 for a third wave. And then it could be a C wave, but if it's not a C wave, we're probably going to like 30 bucks. So I don't know which one. I would probably I would probably say it's this one though, just because I don't know, 21 bucks seems like a lot for us for them to give us a 200% gain. It kind of seems like 14 is more realistic and maybe coming come up here to like, you know, 16 to 18 bucks. Um, so we'll see what happens. But the only thing that really matters is, again, we are in monthly demand. Zoom out here, show you monthly demand. It's pretty obvious. Monthly demand zone right here. So you should be buying right here and get ready for a move that should be coming. We have earnings in about a month. So I would be, wouldn't be surprised if we start running into earnings and then get a big pop after earnings. So, um, yeah, tough week, but, you know, it's killing a lot of stocks. And it's funny, SoFi is on the same algo or very similar algo to Tesla here. March 1st. 204 all the way down to 161 March 1st 922 all the way down to seven bucks I'm pretty sure that's the exact same it's close to the same percentage so 24 percent and then we have uh let's see here 21 percent so very close but these two stocks are on the same algo. They're both being controlled. They move the exact same time. It's really crazy because I own part of both of them. So it's been a rough few weeks, but I think we should be back on track here in um, hopefully in the next week or so and then move higher into earnings. So that's pretty much it. Uh, if you look at the moving averages, they're all going to be looking like crap right now. You have the 20 in the 50 crossing below the 200 but again it's not going to really matter because we have a lot of support here and all we need is our earnings to make us take off again anyway that is going to be it for this video uh, if you liked it give it a thumbs up subscribe let me know what you think in the comments we're almost there almost done with the manipulation in my opinion unless there's a market correction um, but i don't think that's going to happen so Hopefully we're ready for takeoff here in the next couple of weeks.